I do have a question. Um, sure. Screen readers, is screen readers uh, at being used as a very generic term, or is there some kind of standardization on you multiple know, uh, screen readers? Except they are things, and they are generic things that you have to follow to make uh, it uh, okay. okay. I'm trying to wrap wrap my mind around the the expanse of this problem. Are they using a browser? Yes. A particular browser no. or a subset of browsers? All and browsers, screen readers work by they take the information, it is all scraped and put into a, uh, into a, into a, a document, what's it called? I'm getting, but anyway, and then it's read from there. And what you define, the whole, whole content of the page or any document is scraped and then send to it. And it goes to the screen reader, it means go through an audio out, or it goes through a text out, a, a braille out. So it can go to anything. There are design concepts that are required that will meet these criteria, <coughs> and they are built in now in any W3, W3C accessibility requirements of anything else. So they are built in, you know there, if you follow these rules, they'll always be accessible. Okay. And the screen reader that you, there are many, many screen readers in my thing, but all screen readers, most of the screen readers follow these things. There are technical issues when you're working with ARIA and things like that, that some do better and then some do worse. Okay. But we're not, I don't think we're talking about that kind of stuff here. Um, the audience that we're going to be, audience says that we will be targeting for this. We've got people with some mild, some mild to severe uh, visual visual problems. Either blind or have low vision. So or, or, low, or low vision. Um, we've got some cognitive, we've got potentially some cognitive problems, some cognitive problems. Um, would, would they use screen, would the people with cognitive problems use screen readers or? May or may not. Yeah, it may, may or may yeah. not. Just you know, Siroj is right. You know, it's just it's it's just whatever fits that individual. And uh, it's, well, it may, they I, may not use a screen reader, but they may use text to speech. Yeah. Okay. So this is a very different ball game when we go into text to speech. Okay. okay. What what I'm think what I'm thinking about is I, my my computer science background is it says we're talking about audience. Are you also looking at so I see donations. Yeah. So it also is. You want your? Are you wanting the website to also be a vehicle to drive increased funding to the organization mm -hmm. as well? That would be nice, but it doesn't necessarily have to. You know, it can be. Yeah. Yeah. Your short answer, yes. Okay. So you want it to be. You want it to be a portal page. to the people yes. you're serving, mm -hmm. but also a marketing tool to the people who can possibly come along you and partner with the yeah. organization. Okay. And right now you have PayPal. Are you planning on staying with PayPal, or is it? We have never gotten that to work, is what Fred was saying oh. about the person that was setting this up and then essentially disappeared on us. And oh, all. so your PayPal button doesn't go anywhere? I don't believe yeah, so. Oh, okay. right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we really need. Yeah, I, so yeah that's an easy <laughs> fix. That's if, I were to, if I were to have yes. our front page, see what you want. Perfect. It would have everything on the front page. Of course. But. <laughs> We want to be methodical, we want to be logical, we want to be accessible, primarily accessible, and then everything after that follows. What is everything to you that you want on your front page? Our programs, our services, our donations, uh, links, you know, uh, just Even everything. Uh, here's our staff, here's our contact info, just everything, you know, stuck up on the wall there to, to, have, uh, to show just how important we are. You know, like to say. But the issue is more reasonable than that. More we understand the issues at hand. We need to be accessible. And in the past that has meant blah, bland, unexciting. What we want to do is turn accessibility into a dynamic experience like that's videos, accessible. Like that's what Videos would be fine too, but would make everything have alt tags, and if we have to use a thousand different pages 
to create our entire website. And we have one thing on the front page, mm -hmm. on the home page, that takes us there, or begins our travel through it, and that's fine with, with me. But there are, evidently, the question is, in terms of donation, obviously, we need to sit down. We need to think about what specifically we want on the home page and go and, and, and whittle it down to where it's good, appropriate, reasonable, logical steps to the, to the rest of the information we want to provide. This is way old. It is way old. We need to get it off there. And I need help with that. Our office needs help with that. Mm -hmm. The banner of the kids, we want, like, that's great stuff, but we need to refresh it. Um, everything has to have alt tags so that when a photo comes up, it describes what's on the photo. Mm -hmm. Great, I see heads nodding. Okay, we're there. Uh, videos would be, would be great too, um, as long as they're accessible. Okay. And so they would have to be captioned. And, and see, you're asking for things that would require yeah. a lot of services from your point of view. But though you can do it with YouTube videos and they can be done mm -hmm. through, I mean, you can do these things, but it is requiring a lot of work on your part. And yeah. so, if you, I would suggest when you all are suggesting one thing, say, this is my requirement. I want a dynamic site. I want to be able to collect data on my donors. I want to have my people that come to my site want services. I want to collect data on them. I want to correspond with them. These are the kinds of things, if you would identify is your wish list, making the site dynamic and making it accessible is the least of your problems, OK? Okay. Can I, would you believe me on that, Renee? <laughs> I mean, we've got NC State side, you know, it's totally accessible. So that's basically what I'm saying. Accessibility is not an issue, and we keep it within the requirements of the law without overwhelming you with a gazillion pages, because you're using your server. You don't want to have gazillion pages right. on your server. Right. So, you know, there are other issues, too. So. What I would suggest, and maybe I'm speaking out of turn, but having done this so much with so many people with sites that are need for disability, you need to define what do I want? What kind of information I want? I, you said you want to simplify, and I think that you've got so many writers who are marketing, who can know how to write, how to write easily, and we can show them how to use disability issues with that. And I've got tons of tools you can put on the site that you can check for disabilities for readability of the content, for the disability of the content. All of that can be done. That really, truly, is the least of the problems. With all these bright techies, we can just look at the tools and do it. It's not a hard thing. So can you, can you? And one of our requirements following up getting control back of the website is to be able to maintain it from you know, within our office yeah. or the kinds of tools that you could give us or the things that you could impart to our staff members to be able to follow up then and be, because right now we don't have control over I think Leandro can help you with you. I mean, if you do it's, use any of these tools like you're using, what are you using? In my I address. use WordPress. Yeah. 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 WordPress, easy. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. easy. Yeah. yeah, those are easy. Oh, yeah. yeah, I agree. Right, right. You can access right. from where yeah. 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 yeah, those are easy things to do. You just need to tell us what is it that you want? I, I, I mean, from what I see, not knowing much about the organization until this evening and seeing the, the menu tabs, they seem reasonable as far as the layout, mm -hmm. you know? I don't know that you really, I mean, you, you're the organization, you think about what you might, the information you might like to have presented there. But to me, it made sense. You have an about, you have, you know, you go here for donation, you have this is our staff, this is our programs, this is our calendar of events. This is our photo gallery or whatever, you, you know, whatever, simple type stuff. And, you know, just putting, um, you know, some sort of WordPress site, you know, with whatever sort of theme you pick out that makes sense for you, uh, a cover picture that maybe rotates or something like that, and your basic menu, and it's pretty straightforward to me, man, you know, as far as, as far as the complexity of what you want. Yeah, but you can move all the content, you can move all the content over to WordPress. My, one of my concerns is, do you have any access to your website at all? Do you have, like, 
password, yeah, password. copy of your website yeah. so you can get to no it. Okay. Because oh, yeah. I mean, she keeps saying that you can't do anything with it. So I'm like, can you really not do anything with it? Well, I just don't yeah, know yeah. how to. Okay. okay. No, that's yeah. fine. That's yeah. fine. Because yeah. no, no, I've had plenty of clients uh, that are like, I I'm can't access how it at all. <laughs> like, yeah. So yeah. somebody like runs off of their passwords. They really don't have any access yeah. to their website. So that's fine. Yeah. I mean, all the things you all pointed out, you wanted to be a marketer.